Good day, friends, and welcome once again to Rustic Ridge Farms. I'm your host, Hillhome, and we are still playing Stardew Valley. Now, one quick note. I do believe that today is the flower dance day, and so we will not be able to take these lovely items to Clint, which is a shame. I would really like to uh, take that over to the museum, too. So maybe we'll just throw everything in the chest and either go fishing or we'll go mining. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we feel. What do we got in the rerun? It is I, the Queen of Sauce, teaching you a new mouth-watering recipe, which is coleslaw. Are you envisioning bland mounds of limp cabbage? You are not alone, but a great coleslaw can be so much more. Make sure you have some juicy, fresh cabbage for this one. Toss with some vinegar and mayonnaise and you're all set. You know how to make that already. All right, cool. And the weather for tomorrow is rain. What about fortune? What do we got today? Good humor will have a little extra luck. Well, that sounds nice, doesn't it? What do we got going on over here? An article about you in the local paper. It sounds like the country life is a good fit for you. I am so proud of you. Take care. Love, Mom. Oh, thanks, Mom. That's nice of you to say. Our crops are growing here. We're making progress. Does anybody know how many days it is in between strawberry harvests? Because I'll tell you what, I have no idea. <laughs> I just know that sometime between now and the end of the season, we should get another set of strawberries done. But I don't know how long that is. I don't know when that will be. I just know that it's coming at some point. That's all that I know. <laughs> so eventually that will happen. Oh, good morning, Nugget. How are you today? My precious little tabby cat. Hello. I can't give you water because there's no more in my watering can. Well, let's water this up. We don't have any reason at all to worry about rewatering the middle of this. I, I don't know that we could grow anything. We might be able to grow some turnips, I suppose, four days. But Pierre's not open today because it's Wednesday. And also, it is a festival day, so... Unless we already had the seeds, and we do not. There's no way that we can effectively make that happen. Kind of a shame. Oh well. So yeah, fishing or mining today? Hmm. Well, that's a great question. I, I really don't know which one would be more beneficial at this point. Um, fishing would get us more money, which is always nice. But mining would get us more iron, which is also nice. So yeah, I just, I don't know. The flower dance has begun already. Wow, we just finally got done watering all our stuff. Man, we really need to upgrade this watering can. <laughs> all right, let's make some more, some more bars. And then I guess, I guess we'll throw this stuff away in the chest all right so we don't need that you know i think we will go to the mine um let's put that in there for a second we'll go take care of some things down here real fast otherwise known as our crab pots what do we got down here oh another snail lovely eventually vincent will get those <laughs> one one day it will happen it will be <laughs> Uh, a great moment in time. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we need these. Whoop. Throw those out. All right. Let's grab those real fast. Put those away. Put those away. We can sell that. We can put this and that into the chest. Uh, we can't sell the old swords today because the guild's not open. We're past the dark part of the mine, so we don't need the torch. Uh, I would maybe... Maybe we'll bring our... Our bass friend. And I think... Can you eat the snails? Is that like a thing you can do? 
No, you're just worth just worth uh, whatever you're worth. Okay, well, we'll throw you in there. There you go. Do I have anything else I can bring that I can eat? Oh, a cave carrot. We could take a cave carrot to the community center. Yeah, that'll be good. And then what? We'll eat uh, eat a cauliflower, I suppose. That'll work. 105 energy. There we go. Perfect. All right. To the community center. We'll drop off this carrot in the foraging bundle. And then we'll be on our happy, happy way to go mining. We're bringing our bean with us. Gosh, I don't often think this in this game. But boy, early on, I always think oh, a kitchen would be so beneficial if we only had a kitchen. And then by the time I get around to having a kitchen, I just never think to cook any food. <laughs> Am I the only one who does that? That's not just me, right? Like, please tell me someone else does that. I sure hope so. Okay, cave carrot. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. Well, look at that. Almost done. Wait, we still that doll with us. Oh, well. <laughs> Just going to leave it in there so I remember to take it to the museum. Because if I put that thing in a chest... Uh, yeah. yeah there's, there's, no, there's no remembering that that is a thing that we need to do. Grab a forage. Don't mind if I do. I will... Drop that off in the old selling bin later on for what? Ten? Ten dollars? <laughs> Fifteen? Uh, uh, it's not much. It's not much. Whoop! Oh, hey, Linus. Have a horseradish. Have a great day. <laughs> because I don't want to carry that around right now. All right. What do we have? Forty-five we're on. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Nothing down there to take care of. I don't see any ore, so let's just start breaking some stones. I would love to upgrade my pickaxe and get to a steel one. I guess then the question becomes, again, and we've sort of been, have been talking about this, but do we upgrade the pickaxe first? Or the axe, so that we can get into the uh, secret woods faster. Because I, I would like some of those ferns. We need to get there in summer, 100%. So there's no, no debating that, really. Uh, we have to get that done. So I can get a fern. Uh, and also, that's a great place to level up your foraging skill. So, the upside to uh, doing the pickaxe is that you can get through the mine faster. But I'm thinking it might be better for us to get the actual axe first. I keep going back and forth on, forth on this. But I was just thinking about it last night. And um, I need to get that done in summer or we have to wait all the way to year two summer. And I don't want to wait that long. I don't want to wait. For summer to be over there. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so that, that guy's going to fly back over this way. There we go. Uh, and I think, based on what we have going for us right now, uh, we might have enough iron already. Just based on these levels, so... Really eats eats your energy down uh, mining, and when you had to hit rocks t two times to break the, anything. <laughs> I will say again, what a boon it was to find that sword so early on while fishing it has really made this a lot easier in some ways. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I think we'd still have the lousy sword unless we would have bought one, yeah? So, like, it's nice nice to have this thing, that's for sure. All right, good, another staircase. That's 49. I mean, already this has been a very profitable 
mining trip. Is there another bat coming? How about some gemstones? Nothing? Dang. Oops. <laughs> Wrong button. I thought I needed to get out my sword and it was already out. Oh, that's my bed. Oh, alright. More iron. I'll take it. Sounds great. Oh, there's some more here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right, 54. 54 iron is nothing to be scoffed at. I mean, we've only gone down four floors. Like, not bad. Okay, I don't see anything else resource-wise, so... There we go. And floor 50. Well, that was amazing. Better boots! Oh, man. We've got better boots. Alright, that's a one and one. What are you? Two and one? Okay, listen, it's a small upgrade, but... Hey. That's okay. Do we keep going? Um, no, I think we're good. I think I think we'll call that good. We'll go back real quick. I almost tried to go to the minecart. We'll go back to the farm. Put some things away. Uh, grab out our regular axe. And uh, maybe go chop down a few trees. Try to clear off some more stuff at the bottom of the farm. Something like that. Ooh, horseradish. All right. And grab that thing. Get it going. Picking it up, you know. Uh, yeah, we got room. Let's check our mushroom cave. Any purple mushrooms? No. Darn. You know, those actually, mushrooms aren't a bad source of, like, early energy either, you know? Maybe we keep those on us for some uh, energy increasing. And also, let's just, do we have 20? No, I don't. All right, we need a few more of those. I would like to make another furnace, I think. That would be pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's get these going. Do need a lot of iron when you play this. It is a resource you use not only f when you are, you know, uh, upgrading your tools, but you use it a lot for a bunch of things that you build around the farm, too. You've really got to get up to the Adventurer's Guild also and sell some of this stuff. Okay, let's grab our, it our items back out. Okay, and then reorganize where everything is. There we go. Uh, anything from our tappers yet? No, tappers still nothing. Okay. Oh, there are some trees. Oh, no, we can't get to those trees. <gasps> we missed a bush. Bom, bom, bom. There. But why can't I walk? Is that... There's a piece of wood. Okay. I like to know why I cannot walk places. And now we know. Alright, so what's going on over here? We got some trees. Okay. Oh, we got some iron on the uh, the quarry. Now, does the quarry... Because I've, I've not played this map. Does the quarry items... Uh, does that change based on what floor of the mine you've made it to? And so... Then you have, like, a chance of any ores that you have gotten to in the mine showing up? Is it a chance of any ore period, like, the whole time? And we just happen to have, uh, like, the lowest tier at the very beginning there? Um, I, I really don't know how that works. So, if somebody has played this farm and you know the answer to that question, I would appreciate your knowledge. Because I don't know how that works. Now, once we get all this cleared off here at the bottom, I am going to figure out where we're going to plant some trees for harvesting purposes. And also, where we're going to put our, our finally located 
uh, rows of tree tappers. And at some point, we'll try to figure out where we're going to get enough resource uh, to build those tappers. <laughs> but for now, I just want to know where in the heck I'm going to put them. I, I have a couple thoughts on where we're going to put some of the things. Also, I, I would really like to get an apple tree. Just to get that out of the way. I'm pretty sure I need that for the community center. I'll double check. We'll double check the bundles in a minute here at the end of the day. There is a lot of space on this farm. It's just kind of oddly divided. Uh, honestly, so far, I, I really like the layout of the farm overall. Uh, it's been an interesting sort of thought process. Like, oh, you know, where would I put that? Hmm. You know? And here, it would be, you know, you're like, oh, well, you could put a coop. But I don't know. Is the coop two wide or three? I don't... I don't remember. Eat a mushroom. And let's see what's in here. Okay, we got a couple there. Nice. Now, are these all experience rocks? Also, look at all these worms that I could otherwise grab. Can I make a cherry bomb? Do we have the technology? I need four. Ah, oh, we're short by two. I was going to say, maybe we just blow that up. <laughs> See what's there, but... Uh, we'd have to walk all the way back up and then make it and walk all the way back down. And, uh... I don't think we're going to do that. You there. I'll wait with you. Okay. Nice. Nice. We don't have enough on us. We'll grab some more of this. There we go. Okay, so let's... Put everything away, and then we'll get everything else back out. I mean, I think that's the best way, because otherwise my brain's going to be like, what are you doing? I'll be like, I don't know. Okay, let's bring those mushrooms, first of all. And then we need to bring five of those. And uh, what else? You know, let's get five of these, because it's supposed to rain. And... I don't know. Okay. Well, we won't need the watering can. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We're going to leave all these because I'm undecided what we're doing. Which sounds like me, doesn't it? Well, what are we doing? Mm, I don't know. Mm. Okay, let's... Uh, we could bring some stuff to sell over at the Adventurer's Guild. Sadly, you cannot sell the slingshot. I, I do still dearly wish that such a thing was possible, but alas. You know, we could just throw these out. They're really not worth that much money. But every little bit helps. Okay, so we'll think about it overnight. Let's think about it. And sleeping. Oh, mining. Okay. Oh, it's ore. Plus one ore. Okay. If you remember to the last episode, I was like... What in the world even is the other upgrade? But I always go for gemstones. And then I always go for... Um, double geodes. And gatherer, double chance on harvesting of foraged items. Yes. What a great day. We leveled up mining and foraging to level 5. Well, that's pretty solid, I think. So that puts us at level 5 in everything but combat, eh? Let me look. Yeah, we're at least level 5 in everything but combat. That's pretty good. Oh, good morning, Nugget. Hello. What's the weather report? Clearance. Okay, so again, we're going to not be able to do the watering can. The spirits are in a good humor today. Okay. Oh, our strawberries are ready. And our potatoes are ready. All right, we got some harvesting we got to do real fast. Um, 
Do we go to the mine or do we fish? I'm going to fish. And we're going to upgrade the axe. Okay, I think that's our that's my plan. So, let's put that away. And this away. And we'll put two of those in there. We'll bring all this other stuff with us. I don't need the sword. We're going we're gonna to put the scythe away too in a minute. First things first though. Harvesting the crops. Yes. Oh, all the strawberries. Okay, so what does that put me at? That's another 12 strawberries. So that's... You figure you get about two seeds per... Per strawberry. Because the cedar tends, not, I mean, not always, but tends to double um, what you put in it. So when we get that far, I love those things too, so much energy. Uh, when we get that far, it'll be nice. So that is a ton of strawberries, and we can just throw them all in that chest. Uh, we're going to need some more chests soon. That is, without doubt, a true statement. We save some of these for energy, maybe? Or do we just sell them? I mean, 50 is pretty good. It's better than those. Um, yeah, let's save those for energy, and we'll sell, I think, everything else. Yeah, that, that sounds good to me. Let's get that done now before I forget. Selling. Selling, 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 selling. Selling, selling. Okay. Now. I'm not going to need... I don't think... Those. We'll bring these with us. Okay. And then I don't need this. We'll go... We'll go pick up the hoe. We'll grab this forage and this forage because, again, I really want to get to level 6. Oh, yeah, we chopped on this tree, too. Well, let's not do that right now, actually, because um, otherwise we'll be stuck with whatever that is. <gasps> oh, a wormy spot. All right, we need our hoe. Our hoe is all the way over at Clint's. Let's try to remember to come back through the bus stop. To grab. It'll probably be clay, but you know, you never know. Just check all these on our way by. Got anything delicious in. Oh! More flowers. Anything delicious? No. Uh, we should probably touch, check the beach, too, for some stuff. See, this is where I, I always wish for the, uh, the mine cars to work. You can just get over here so much faster. There's no point going to the beach yet. Because if there's an artifact spot, we won't be able to do anything with it. So let's just wait. Come on. Let's go, Clint. Open up. Open up, Clint! I need you! Alright, here we go. Hello, sir. There we go. Copper hoe acquired. And, let's see. Upgrade tools. Yes. I would like a steel axe in just a minute before that i would like these done that'd be great we'll see how much of this we can get done and get maybe some items over to the museum looks like there's two new items i will never complain about getting coal in this game bonus iron from a lousy regular geode oh there we go dwarf helmet okay i don't need two game uh, that is not something we need doubles of. Ten coal? Wow. Is today like a high luck day and like I just didn't notice? You don't get ten coal very often, that's for sure. Ooh, another stone. And some slate. And some, what, J-goats? I, I don't know how you pronounce that. j -goat? Whatever. Okay, so we have this, we have this. How? Did 
Did I have 10 on me? Oh, I haven't done it yet. Never mind. <laughs> I was really confused for a second. Okay, Gunther, Gunther. 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 You can tell us about those. These we've already put in so we can sell those. Okay. Let's sell those. Cool. And now we will upgrade the axe. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Okay, first things first, let's rearrange ourselves here. And then, let's come on in here and donate some stuff to the museum. Uh, I would like the yellows to be together, but I sort of messed that up, so... Oh well. These things happen. A new reward! How generous. There are three dwarven items. Um, maybe we put them over here. Put this in here. And we'll put that there. There we go. What exciting reward did we get now? Oh, the stone and the bear. We're going to need a chest just for all that stuff. Then we have to run back to the farm real quick. In just a moment, via the bus stop, we'll drop a bunch of stuff off, and then we will go fishing, I think, in the forest down by Leia's. Because that is uh, a good spot to fish in the river, and it's raining, which means we should, hopefully. A sea urchin! Did I need that? We should uh, be able to catch some catfish. Okay. We need flowers. We need fall crops, summer crops, quality, and random brood things. Okay. Uh, wood and stuff. Okay. Forage. Forage, 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 forage. And nothing else in there that I have right now. Okay. A uh, bunch of seasonal fish. Summer and fall for the most part. Okay. Uh, battery we need to build the thing for. We can make the quartz. That's not too bad. And we just got to find some iridium. Okay. Uh, I might have those 10 bat wings already. And we need some more gems. All right. Did we need an apple? I need a pomegranate. A star fruit. There's the sea urchin. We'll buy an ice cream in summer. I don't need an apple? Well then. We gotta buy a pomegranate. I... Okay. I don't know how much pomegranates cost. I think, do you, is that one of the normal bundles an apple? Why did I think I needed an apple this whole time? Apparently it was a pomegranate. I was convinced it was an apple, though. But I was wrong. You know, sometimes in life, friends, what you think and what you actually need are two different things. Like, no, I think I need this. But no, you're not correct. You don't really need that. Okay, Pierre. How much is a pomegranate and when does it... When is it ready? It's in the fall. And it's 6,000. Ouch. Okay. Alright, so we know we need that. Slime Hunter Frost Jellies. Normally I would say yes. Uh, you know, maybe we won't make it to the Adventurer's Guild today. I, I think it's a little bit out of our... Out of our reach. We would waste too much time going up there. Rice shoots. Yeah, well, we're going to sell those. <laughs> Is it even worth taking these items up there? What's it like $10 or something? Oh, maybe it's not even worth the effort. Let's sell. Nope, we need that. Sell those. 
sell many things. Yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just divest ourselves of these items that we don't need. You're taking up space. Become trashed. Okay. All right. I would like to have more furnaces. Yes, I would. Speaking of wood, let's uh, let's grab some and make a chest and stick that chest in the house, shall we? And then we can put some of this stuff in here, like that thing. This, however, uh, gotta have it. Just part of life. Gotta have the crystal. Now, was there any other random, like, do we have paintings or something floating around? Here's a painting. Uh, was there any other random items such as that in a chest anywhere? There we go. Let's get rid of that stuff. We'll take all this inside, throw it in the chest. Get a little more space outside. This is for our friend, the community center. Could probably check the, uh, the crab pots on our way back. I mean, we'll look and see what's in them, but... Yeah, we'll grab those on the way back from our fishing extravaganza. Now, are those artifact spots? Oh, yeah, there are still some here. They're different ones, but they are here. Clay! Alright, look, clay's not awful. You need it for silos. And I want to say retaining fertilizer, like, that retains water. You know, so you, it's not that you don't need it. You kind of need it. Okay, let's go fishing. Let's go fishing here. Try and catch some catfish. That's our goal. We can get several catfish. The possibility exists that I can, in fact, afford a pomegranate tree. That being said, if I happen to... Oh, look, there's uh, there's bubbles right by me that I'm ignoring. Uh, if I happen to see a pomegranate in the uh, cart trade uh, place, uh, then perhaps I'll get it there. All right. Hopefully this is a catfish, because otherwise it's a really annoying fish. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Oh, and gold star even. Gold star! That's what we like to see. Uh, there is also the uh, the next fishing rod that we could grab. Which is... Uh, I think it's like 7500 to get. It's kind of expensive. Bait. We got bait from that chest. Not the most exciting thing. We're just going to keep throwing it past those bubbles. I, those bubbles are really close. So while we would catch things probably a little faster, it's not going to be good quality because it's it's closer to you, closer to the shore. Quality of fish determined by distance you cast and whether or not you get a perfect... So if you're casting the line out with this second fishing pole as far as it goes, or close to as far as it goes, uh, and you are not messing it up, you will get iridium quality pretty much every time. And if you have a little oopsie, uh, you will get gold quality most of the time. So, neither of those is bad. In fact, both are quite helpful to get. Oh, here we go. Uh, another slippery catfish. Which would have to actually, you know. Uh, I, I was going to say skin, but uh, take the scales off. I don't know what that process is actually called. Is it descaling? I don't even know. The removal of the scales is a pain, is what I'm trying to say. Wow, I really thought I was going to lose this one. It was it was close there for a second. We gotta focus in. Uh oh, we're in trouble now. Now we got some problems. Oh man, catching these catfish while lucrative is also not that easy. 
It's not super hard, but it's not super great either. <laughs> My goodness. They're very active fish. Uh, you know, compared to like, I don't know, a chub, uh, a trout, a, a largemouth bass. I mean, like, nope, we missed that one. They, they just really jump all around. Not often that I fail to catch uh, a fish in springtime, but catfish are, <laughs> well, they're catfish. They're tricky. There's an iridium. All right. I don't think I've ever caught an iridium quality catfish. Maybe. Maybe, but I'm um, thinking probably not. Oh, now the pressure's on. We got we got the chest too, huh? All right. <laughs> oh man, a new record. That's four catfish. Pretty good. Leia likes salads, by the way, in case anybody ever needs to give her some gifts. There was something else that she liked, too. And I just thought of it the other day, and I was like, oh, yeah, she likes... And then now I can't think of it. I typically, when I am at the point in the game where I want to just make friends with people, uh, I either make salads in the kitchen at the house... And then bring them down here. Or, I would say probably more commonly uh, in year two is mostly when I do a lot of the gifting. I just go to the, the saloon and I buy salads from Gus. And I just give them to her. Because <laughs> it's just easier. It's just easier. Yeah, thanks for that little whoop right there at the end there, Chubb. I appreciate you. I see you. I see what you did there. I'm on to you, fish. I'm on to your tactics. <laughs> Do fish have tactics? I, that would be disturbing if they did, I think. I don't really think they have tactics. Ooh, a shad. Well, that's quite nice. Shads and catfish. Let's make some money. I like it. Ooh, there's a chest at the bottom. I would like you, treasure chest. There we go. Very good. Come on. Come on now. Come on, it's a decent luck day. We can maybe get something good out of this. All we've gotten all day is bait. <laughs> Come on, listen. Based on how this went earlier on in the playthrough, I feel like we should be getting more than just bait on these treasure chests. <laughs> We used up all of our uh, our super good luck early on in, in the playthrough, and now from here it's just going to be struggle bus the rest of the way. <laughs> it could be the case. It could be the case. Oh, man. We'll see. <laughs> so many catfish. So exciting. You can still catch a lot of fish before it's time to be done. Ooh, there's a chest. All right, get off the fish. Get the chest. There we go. Okie doke. Woo! What do we got now? More bait. Apparently today is fish for bait day. We've been jabated by the game. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, this one's solid. I'll take this. Thank you for that perfect. Nice, perfect bream there. Iridium. You didn't rip the hook through its mouth. Good job. I wonder if the rain adds to the, um, the speed at which fish bite or not in this game. That's a question I've had for a long time that I have just never looked into. I have a lot of questions about mechanics in this game that I just apparently can't be bothered to uh, to look at the wiki for. Um, yeah, I just assume that someone will know. 
who watches the video eventually and will tell me. Good times. I wonder if we can get to 10 catfish. Can we make it to 10 catfish? There's a goal. What's your goal today, Hill Hump? My goal today is 10 catfish. That's my goal. It's good to have goals when you play games. It's good to have goals in life. The harder part, I think, of, of that is not the goal or having one or not having one. A dino- Oh, Garden! Garden is gonna be so mad! Fire, you two. I see you both. I see you both. I see you. Oh, ho, ho. Uh oh, I'm in trouble now. I'm in trouble now, friends. Uh oh. Some of you viewers gonna be a little salty about that one, I think. And I had just been complaining about, like, getting something good in the chest. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, man. That's... <laughs> That's fabulous. That's really great. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, for those of you who, who don't know... Uh, Garden uh, and Fire, both very long-time viewers of, of the channel uh, on Twitch and uh, also here on YouTube. And they were just talking with each other on Discord about a playthrough, their, their own playthroughs that they're doing, and the fact that they had been having some hard times uh, finding some items like Ancient Seeds. Uh, and also the other thing that was brought up was a dino egg. <laughs> and so now I have found, before spring is over, three ancient seeds and a dino egg. And uh, I'm going to hear about it. I am 100% going to hear about this. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that is too funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Garden's probably thinking too, like, how do you catch so many catfish? Why would you do that to yourself? And I'm always like, no, no, fishing is the way to make money. Fishing is the way to find items. You just gotta, you gotta fish more. And, uh, Garden always laughs and says, I'm bad at fishing. <laughs> you're not bad at fishing, Garden. Okay, you're just maybe not as, uh, practiced. Uh, is that the right word I want to go with? Practiced? There you go. It's all those hours of fishing in our co-op playthrough for me. So they've really paid off. It's, it's training. It's been training for this the whole time. And we just didn't know it. <laughs> I love fishing in this game. Ah, oh, it's so nice. So what time we fish until? Uh, Tanish, you think? Maybe a little longer, maybe 10, 30, 11? So we do have to get all the way back up to the house still and uh, sell all of our ill-gotten fishing gains. Uh, game, I would really love one more catfish to reach my, my 10 catfish goal here. Okay. I would really appreciate... Just, just one more, you know? We missed that one. That, oh, that is fair. We did miss one. Uh, wow. Okay, listen, friend. Is this the one we missed earlier? Come back for revenge? It's like, well, I heard you wanted another catfish. You're going down now. Speaking of catfish, there's ten, and we've reached uh, our own personal side goal in life. Uh, I will say, too, my wife and my son both really enjoy catfish my daughter does not we're gonna not we're not getting that one i prefer sea fish to river and lake fish not big on bass or walleye or uh, any of that sort of thing but uh i do like uh, red snapper and i like uh your more obvious seafoods such as shrimp and clams, crab legs, lobster, scallops. Uh, all of these things are amazing. And I will eat them. I just don't like 
river and lake fish. They just taste like river and lake to me. They don't really taste like fish. Oh, cod. I like cod. Cod is also very tasty. Yeah, I like all those. Uh, that being said, I suppose I, salmon is okay. Uh, when we lived uh, on the other side of the state that we live in now, uh, we were closer to Lake Michigan, and um, I got to go salmon fishing, trolling uh, for salmon uh, out in a, a charter boat with a friend, and we caught gi giant salmon. I mean, like the like the length of my arm, giant. And um, they, those were really good. They were very very tasty when we cooked them. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. And I think we were only out there like a couple hours. We had a great time. And I went deep sea fishing when I was a kid. Down in, in the Gulf of Mexico, which was super amazing. Okay, let's go sell our fish and see what we get out of this. It's 11 o'clock. Time to run back up to the farm. And I think overall we had an, another amazing day of fishing in Stardew. I mean, could you imagine where we would be in this playthrough without fishing? Like, you know, we would be in a different spot for sure. Okay, we'll, we'll put all the bait back in those. And we'll go sell our stuff, put some stuff in the chests, and grab some sleep. Okay, so... Uh, selling, 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 selling. Keeping the rest of those. We can get rid of this. It's not going to be worth any money, but... That's okay. To the fishing chest. To the blue one. Yep. Put those things in there. We do need to hang out of this egg. Uh, can I offer you an egg in these trying times? Let's just put the egg in there too, I guess. Okay, we'll grab our tools back out. Reorganize ourselves. As per usual, we did have these if we needed them. Did we check the cave today? I feel like I did earlier. You know what? I, no, maybe I didn't. Maybe that was the day before. Okay, we cannot pick up those cauliflowers. Nope, that was today. Okay. Sometimes I forget. And I just don't remember. Okay. Well, that was a fabulous day, friends. Let's get some sleep. The bell has told. Go to sleep. Yes. We have reached level 8 fishing. And we can now make a worm bin. I would actually love to make some worm bins. I don't think we are at the point where we have the resources for those. How much do we get? Oh, we are rolling in the dough. Look at that. We got enough for the pomegranate tree just from fishing for one rainy day in star dew valley and that doesn't even count all the money we made from our actual crops or the money we made from foraging oh my goodness we made ten thousand dollars in one day i think that's the first day we've crossed over ten thousand so far friends that's amazing oh what a great day and we got a dino egg i mean you can't you can't complain about this day as Stardew. What a fabulous day. And speaking of fabulous, you are fabulous for having watched this episode of Stardew Valley Rustic Ridge Farms. As always, I have been your host, Hillhome. You are awesome. And we'll see you next time, friends. Take care.